What's up guys, welcome back to Trove, welcome I, I guess to part 2 to the splendid summer questline. Today we're gonna mainly feature the hidden questline, I, uh, well questline, I totally missed the last time. Truth be told, I noticed there was something uh, weird with this um, Radiant Dayspring, as you can see. It's got plenty more resources, or rather res recipes to be unlocked, than the Prismatic Essence, but uh, yeah, I, I got carried away and uh, just finished the quest line. Anyway, today I believe I have enough knowledge to finish this. I'm, I'm gonna attempt unlocking all these, including the costume at the end. Look at that, Dazzling Draculite, a costume for, for the Draculite, okay. 70 mastery points, I definitely have to get it. So let's try to do it together. It's pretty complicated as far as I've seen. By the way, I'm taking all my info from the North Discord server. I, uh, I'm i also gonna link it down in the description. So let me see now. Let's start with the first one, Red Essence. The very essence of redness. Consume this essence to... It doesn't say how you get them. I'm, I'm pretty surprised people figure out how to get all of these. That's pretty, pretty interesting. Anyway, um, let me see. First of all, I will need some um, prismatic essence. I think I only need one. Gonna put it in my hot bar, and if I understood correctly, I have to go back into um, into the Dragon Crucible dungeon and craft the red essence there, just like so. So consume this, trigger the workbench. And click on cross. 50 coins, damn. <laughs> this is pretty expensive, red fan. Uh, no, no, not really. 50 coins after all. Not expensive. But there you go. 10 mastery points. How cool is that? Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, um, so I guess it's just unlocked. Wait a minute, let me let me check the uh, radiant ice. It's probably unlocked, right? Yeah, there you go. Red essence. Okay. Awesome stuff, what did I just get? Okay, right, the uh, red font of knowledge. Interesting, let's uh, let's try and get the orange one now. And if I understood correctly for this one, I gotta be in the uh, in the geo top side, looking for some spirals, naturally generated into the ground. Gonna find, uh, or at least gonna try find one such spiral. Wait a minute, should I? I, I think I should have have uh, crafted the uh, red essence. Okay, <laughs> back to the hub. Right, so I have to uh, I have to have this crafted. It's gonna be asking for one coin, and I also need some bombs apparently. Gotcha. Well, I think I'm uh, ready to go. I'm gonna remove this from my hotbar not to accidentally use it. So uh, let's head back to Uber Ten. I think Uber Eight or Uber Nine may also work. Not entirely sure though. Right, so one scene here we gotta find some spiral like structures they're probably underground and i think i remember them so basically the author who compiled all this info regarding the uh, essences and how and where to get them recommends you should be in this white biome to find uh, spirals much oh wait, I, there you go I, I just spotted one it's right there i think yeah i'm pretty sure that's how um, yeah there you go it looks exactly like a spiral can you make it out Interesting. Anyway, the author recommends um, you should be in the Sericensi biome, which is the one that's a little bit more white on your minimap. So, I I should now get to the bottom of it, and I should be... Oh, God. There's a dungeon. I guess I'm gonna go through the... God, the, <laughs> the lag, though. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go through the dungeon. Uh, it's a bit... Okay, it's a little bit harder. Nothing that, nothing that I show where the spiral continues. Oh, oh, there you go, there you go, done. Okay, fine, so I'm gonna keep on going, try to reach the bottom of it, where I'm gonna throw some more bombs in the hopes I'll be getting my um, orange essence. Fighting the lag, fighting the dungeons, fighting everything that stays in my uh, in my path, pretty much. Is this it? It's getting really cramped. It's definitely getting really, really cramped in here. I think that's the end of it. No, wait. It goes a little bit, a little bit deeper. Yeah, pretty sure that's the end. So if I was to bomb, should have brought like um, big bombs. Should have brought some big bombs. Now I'm not entirely sure if what I'm doing is right. 
Oh, there you go. I think I got it. I got it. I, I had to resort to some big bombs because uh, there was a lot of bombing to be done. Anyway, look at that. How did people find this? Are you kidding me? This is insane. This is so well hidden. Flowering marigold. So now um, I believe I have to remove the big bombs from, from my hotbar. Use my red essence. And there you go, what is that in my inventory? By the way, I just pressed E on uh, on it. Orange font of knowledge! Yeah, we'll definitely use this. And that's how you get your orange essence. Basically 10 more mastery points. Back to the hub for me. Let's see, do we have it? Do we have it? Yes indeed, the orange essence right here is gonna be asking for 25 blazing, okay, fine. I'm definitely gonna be crafting it since Let's now go after the yellow one. Now, this will be tricky. It's simple in nature, but a little bit tricky. We gotta find someone that has a Ganda mount and run on that Ganda trail. Which sounds like fun, but maybe a little bit tough to, uh, to do. Let's see if anyone has Ganda. I mean, I got my own, but I don't think it's gonna work. We can test, I guess, Ganda. Nah. Wait, it says, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I use this and do it? Mm. Oh no, it worked, it worked. Okay, so, nice. I don't, I, for, for some reason I thought I had to find someone that has a Ganda. But apparently not, you can use your own. Good, good stuff. Uh, let me see. Now, of course, if you don't have a, a Ganda mount, you gonna find someone. Feel free to uh, whisper me, if I happen to be online, I will gladly help you. Uh, right, now, let me see, let me see, let me see, what is this? Yellow font of knowledge, uh, I guess that's another 10 mastery points right there, and they, ooh, would you look at that, a mastery rank up, 600 and, uh, 628, not bad. <laughs> Someone says I'm poor, no worries, man. Now, let me, uh, let me see, we should probably go back to the, um, to the workbench and uh, check out what's next. Gotta say, so far so good. Yellow essence has uh, yellow essence has been completed. I think I'm gonna craft it. 1k flux to craft it. Fine. Let's now go after the green one. Oh, little bit of typo there. Uh, missing a space. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, let's try and get it. Okay, <laughs> this seems to be rather complex. Let me see now. So. First of all, I will need something from the gardening bench. Uh, feel free to join this club if you don't have one. Um, let me see, gardening bench. Join link is of course in the description, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, I will need, wait a minute, where was it? Oh, there you go, there, there you go, this is the plant in question, this is why I need green fern flower pip. Decorative flower, this delicate fae flower requires green torch light to grow. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna craft five of them. Not entirely sure, I think I only need one. So I crafted five. But I also need that green torch it mentioned. And the green torch I'm gonna get from the... Uh, there you go, the fairy workbench, which is right here. And the torch in question is, of course, right here. But I also seem to be needing a regular torch for this process. So how exactly can I craft a regular torch? Uh, if I remember correctly, maybe the fun factory? Not entirely sure. Ah, you know what, can I just buy it? Torch! Yeah, I can. 2.5k. I think that's overpriced, but whatever. Uh, let's see, can we now craft it? Can we now get the green torch? And I think we can. It's only gonna be asking for one primordial flame and uh, 10 primordial, or rather primal green, which is rather cheap. Did you craft it? There you go. A little bit laggy today. Anytime now. And finish crafting. Okay, uh, this means... This means I gotta clean, I, uh, clean up my building um, hotbar. Put the plants in there. There you go, the uh, green fern flowers. Along with the green torch. And people also recommended the use of... Um, there you go, insta growers. You can buy them from the market or get them from Tom's, whatever. This is gonna basically skip the 4 hour wait time for this plant to grow. So, uh, let's say, uh, let's do a quick recap. Put the plant down. Do I have to water it? Nothing that I sure. I think I, I do have to water it. In before comments saying, I thought you were a pro. Anyway, let me uh, try uh, watering, water these. No, okay, no watering. Wait, did it? 
I'm not sure. Uh, let's try to use the Insta Growers, maybe? <laughs> is it done? Oh, oh yes, yes it is. I guess it's done. Now all I have to do... Wait, wait, where's the torch? I forgot to place the torch down. I forgot to place the torch down. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Because I forgot to, to place the torch down, basically. But let me try nonetheless. Let me use my um, yellow essence. I'm gonna craft another one if, uh, if needed. Use this. Did it work? Oh, I guess it worked. Oh, I guess it worked indeed. Nice! Learn! Oh, I'm green, by the way. That's so interesting. Just noticed. I noticed I kept changing colors, but wasn't sure if it's a visual bug or something, but I guess it wasn't. I'm totally green now. Gonna grab my... You know what? I'm gonna leave the torch down if... Um... Ah, never mind. No one else can uh, can plant stuff in here. Anyway, get my, get my torch back. Right, so I uh, I also have uh, the uh, green thing. Let me go back to the hub and uh, check what's next. Right, so uh, <laughs> a crash later. Here we are back in the uh, hub. And yes, we have the green essence indeed. Which is apparently gonna be asking for 10 sunlight bulbs to be crafted. And I have enough, so I'm gonna click on craft. Nice. Well, let's go after the blue one now. And before we do anything, apparently I don't have enough resources for the following um, essence. I will be needing five deep sea dragon egg fragments and unfortunately I only have one. Which means we gotta get more. Right, so I found the one such dragon. I believe upon killing it I uh, will actually get the fragments necessary. You can always um, uh, try join the uh, dragon chat, but the chat itself was a little bit crazy today, so I, <laughs> I'd i rather uh, stay out of it. Anyway, I think I got the fragments. Yeah, there you go. Six deep sea fragments. Now, I gotta find a lair for, um, for this uh, dragon. This may be a little bit tricky. Oh, there you go. I, I, I think I spotted a lair on the map. It looks exactly like that. It's gonna take a while until you find one, so arm yourself with some patience, otherwise feel free to join the uh, dragon chat I mentioned before, all you have to do is, is to basically type slash join dragon, and uh, yeah, you, you will basically join it. You may be luckier uh, than myself and uh, actually get a dungeon. Now, I uh, I still have... why are they... Yeah, I still have a way to go until I reach it, so <laughs> see you when, I, when I'm closer. Well, I guess I can do a quick recap, uh, since... Yeah, except I can Oh boy, so, so much stuff to take care of. Not crash, avoid crashing, check your inventory. Right, let me see. I need bombs. I got bombs. I also need the essence, the green essence and the fragments. I got everything. How far am I? Little bit, little bit more and we're gonna reach it. Right, so here we are. Where's the lair entrance? I wonder is... Oh no, never mind. <laughs> Just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Somewhere around here we should probably see a portal at some point, eventually. Anytime now. Oh, there you go, finally, there you go. Um, Let's get in. Kill the dragon or something. I Wow, it's a big one. I guess I'm gonna kill it. Any time now, yeah, there you go. Uh, now, you, you gotta use your compass, uh, as far as I've read, and uh, go southwest. That's gonna be that place. Southwest, and they say bomb it. Just like we did in the uh, case uh, of that spiral. Not sure how far I gotta bomb. Well, I guess I'm gonna bomb the heck out of this dungeon and uh, <laughs> keep you updated. Oh damn, Alec MVP, it's not southwest, it's uh, southeast. There you go, a little bit of uh, correction, that's uh, that's what the orb looks like. And if you're wondering, this is how much we had to bump. Something like that, right? Much, much more simpler than what I did, <laughs> what I did right here. So, uh, let me see, we should probably use the essence and uh, keep progressing. Right, so here we are, gonna remove those from my hotbar, gonna put the uh, green essence, and I think that's all we have to do, right? I think so. Craft. That's why I needed the uh, fragments for, gotcha, so I gotta craft it using six such... Uh, I better not accidentally use it. 
Wait a minute. No, oh, I guess I don't have to do anything else. I thought I had to learn it. Unless it's right here in my inventory and I'm missing it. I guess there's nothing to click on this time. Alright, back to the hub then. Right, yeah, so I just... Is this gonna be a crash? Anyway, I'm gonna cover it anyway. Uh, <laughs> so I just checked and actually gained mastery from what I did previously. Which means it should be unlocked. Now, is this gonna end in a crash or what? Place your bets right now. Amazing. Crash. Gotcha. Right, so back we are. Let's check the uh, Radiant Day Spring and uh, Purple Essence is the next thing we gotta go for. We should probably craft a uh, Blue Essence, which is only gonna be, uh, only gonna be asking for some uh, like five blocks of water. And there you go, got it in my inventory, someone spotted me. Let's see what's uh, next to be done. Oh wow, this is so amazing, this is so so amazing. Next we gotta go to one of our, uh, or rather one of my favorite places in Trove. A well hidden gem, which is west of the main hub. Now it helps having a Ganda cause the water is gonna hurt you, uh, well the lag is also gonna be hurting me, but anyway helps having a Ganda, if not just use a ship or fly from a high high place west, directly west, and uh, you will soon spot a cloud, well not that soon, it's gonna take a while until you reach it, should we do this live, no you're not, I'm gonna film this, I'm gonna fast forward this so you get a sense of how long you're gonna travel. See you when uh, we reach it. There you go, we can spot the cloud, the portal is on top of. Now, this is where I'm at. By the way, I was under the impression Ganda would work above the Sea of uh, Deep Regret. Apparently it does not. Apparently it does not. Hopefully I have enough jump, imagine how embarrassing this would be. Yeah, you'll need, uh, you'll need a little bit of jump. Alright, so there you go, the, the uh, weirdest adventure portal in the game. Look at that, power rank 0 required, suggested class level 1, 2, 3. This is basically an old version of the hub, which is rather haunted. Yes indeed, rather haunted. Let's get in. Let's see now, loading, loading, loading. Do you guys know about this place? I think I've made at least two videos with it. Yeah, quite interesting. Uh, cover the uh, the whole uh, hub in detail in uh, in my curiosity series. But now let's focus on what we have to do. We gotta find or rather reach the maze below. And the way we're gonna do that, yeah, that's there's like catacombs. There's like catacombs below uh, this hub, and the way we're gonna reach them is through a cornerstone. Now, fortunately for me, my cornerstone already has. Um, such, I don't know, catacomb discovery features, as in my cornerstone is deep enough for me to reach the, um, the actual catacomb as soon as I go through all these tunnels there. There you have them. There you have the catacombs right here. Now, we gotta go to, I should have probably placed the cornerstone. Yeah, that's a bad idea. I'm gonna do respawn and go to the very west. They say go to the very west of the um, of the maze. I'm gonna place my cornerstone in this area. Right here, I will go down, do the same thing again, and uh, try and reach a uh, skull in the catacombs. Skull named Kevin. Yep. So which way is west right there? Is this Kevin? Yes, it is. <laughs> How lucky was that? The first skull I actually checked out. How lucky was that? The lore goes, these usernames, these are actually usernames, belong to the very first people that sponsored or rather financially supported the game back when it was in alpha? I'm not sure what the, um, the state was called, but these were the very first supporters. 
It's quite the nice homage given to them, right? But anyway, let's focus on Kevin. I'm gonna use my uh, blue essence. Gonna talk. Gonna talk. To oh no! I don't have. Um, I don't have hearts of darkness. Heart of darkness. I was not prepared. I was not prepared for this. There you go. We now have everything we need, and um, I just crafted. A purple font of knowledge which got me 10 more mastery points. I panicked a bit. I thought <laughs> I, I thought I wasted my um, resources. But anyway, we seem to be done here, which means back to the hub. Let's see what's the progress so far. How many more? Oh, the costume is next. Nice. But before we dive deeper and get a costume, we gotta forge here. Uh, we gotta craft the purple essence, which is gonna be requiring one penta forge. There you go, done it is in my inventory. Now we gotta go to the um to a fey biome. In here we gotta find the iconic tree slash rainbow dungeon. It's a three-star dungeon. Let's try and find it. Oh damn, that's some that's some glitched biome right there. And um by the way, uh, apparently the dungeon also spawns in um highlands, in the highlands, medieval highlands biome. When I first thought of the um, uh, tree dungeon, I thought it would only spawn in the highlands. So should I? Hmm, nothing that I should want to do. I think I'm gonna roam the Fey slash highlands biome in the hopes of finding such uh, such a tree dungeon. Now, this is one of the cases you will greatly help if you have your um, draw distance maxed out up to 210. All right, and there you have it. This is what the dungeon looks like now. In this place, we gotta locate a crown. Oh, that, that, that was uh, rather convenient. Thank you very much. I am also gonna be inviting Alec, the MVP. Wait, 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 wait. this is dangerous. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm actually trying to play the game and invite as many people as I can. I used my essence, and we should be good to go. Everyone, as far as everyone's ready, I don't want to waste my essence. Yeah, there you go. Someone. Someone. Uh, someone grabbed it. Anyway, there you have it. As the um, that's the last one. Ultimate fund of prismatic knowledge. Cannot be traded. It teaches you to craft the dazzling dracolite costume. Hey, haven't I invited Alec? I think I did. Yeah, just check the footage. Unfortunately, the game was bugged or something. Not sure what happened. Anyway, uh, let me uh, let me just use this up and uh, add another 10 mastery points. Let's try and get a costume somehow. And if we are to reach the Radiant Dayspring yet again, go to the Prismatic. Oh god. So it's gonna be basically asking a little bit of everything. So let me craft this. Let me craft this. Let me craft this again. And this, uh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> I'm not gonna skip this though. I'm not gonna cut it. This and finally the purple thingy. And now we should have everything for the costume, which is gonna be 70 master points. Fairly exciting. Craft, finally. Took a bit. Truth be told, took a bit 70 master points. 72 master points, as a matter of fact. Nice, nice, nice. Dazzling Draconite. Let's check it out, of course. Get on my, uh, get on my Draco. Dazzling Draconite. Okay. It's a bit on the uh, bluish side. Uh, hat. Dazzling Draconite. Helmet. What? Okay. <laughs> Dazzling. Dracolite, uh, Dracolite staff. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Interesting. What, what are the skills? Okay. And let's wait for the ultimate. We should now be ready for the ultimate, which is gonna look something. Oh wow, oh wow, yeah. Makes it much better. The ultimate is amazing. The ultimate is indeed amazing. Look at that. That's one colorful dragon right there. Awesome. That is indeed awesome. 
Right, so there you have it. I tried to explain this as best as I could while also doing it for myself. That's the secret, well hidden questline. Uh, as a matter of fact, I still don't know how people managed to solve it. It would have taken me much longer without the help from, um, from the North Discord server. This was awesome. This was one of the most... No, this is probably the best event I've seen in Trove. Super creative. It actually makes you think it's not brainless whatsoever and uh, damn, that was fun. Imagine, imagine not having the pressure of having to put out content and just staying, trying to solve the puzzles by yourself. Wondering, hmm, wonder, uh, wonder where that leads and uh, stuff like that. I imagine that's uh, that's amazing for most of you. But there you go, that's the reward at the end, the Dazzling Draculite. A very, very beautiful costume. Well, not for the um, uh, regular costume, but for the ultimate. The ultimate is absolutely gorgeous. That said, guys, thanks for watching. I, uh, I noticed this video is rather long, but hey, there you have it. This is gonna be it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video, remember to like it if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you did not, and don't forget to leave a comment saying, well, anything that crosses your mind. This will help the channel greatly, I'll see you on the next one.